Welcome to Music Machine Mondays. In this episode, I am going to try to play a big street organ myself. The organ is called the Dripryken Street Organ. So, here we've got an organ book that we can play in this. Very big crank. And a very big crank, yeah. A very big wheel that we have to grind. You, you call this grinding the organ. Okay. Um, you do it with one arm, so that when that one arm gets tired, you can switch to the other arm. So a okay. real organ grinder never grinds with two arms at the same time. And sometimes even when they change arms, so they would go like this, and when you change the other arm, you would stand like this, and they would go and do like a oh, wow. thingy. Well, I'm not a real organ grinder, so I can't do that, but you sometimes see them do that. Um, right now you're building the music boxes with uh, the automatic paper, right? With, yes. with automatically cut paper. I just wanted to show you, this is an organ book that's automatically cut. This is not, this is machine cut? Yeah, so this was also just a MIDI file and they made an organ book out of this. Oh, cool. And you can see the difference if I compare it to, uh, okay. if you hold this and I'll grab a real, a real organ book, a hand cut organ book. You can see the difference. Also with the waxing stains here. Yeah. You can see the waxing stains. And, well, this is a bit more sloppy in a way. And a lot of people who like uh, street organs like this better because there's a natural uh, human approach to this and also a uh, human error, uh, which, which we like in music, of course. Yeah. But this is also nice. We're going to try this one. This is pretty good. The reason that, that we don't do the same as you with the revolutions per minute is because you've got all these different organ books that have different tempos, so you couldn't really do that. You couldn't have one tempo for the organ that you need all the time, okay. that you have to play all the time. Uh, you always have to grind the wheel at the same tempo, no matter what organ book you play, and the tempo is in the organ book. So they put the holes closer together to have yeah. a faster song. Play a faster song. And then you get into your muscular memory, exactly. Yeah. So you, the whole evening you have the same tempo. Yeah, you're always swinging it at the same tempo. And the and best thing is to not think about it. Okay. And not trying to anticipate like, oh, I'm going to go slower or I'm going to go faster. Just listen to it and, and, uh, and wonder if it's okay. Yeah. And if it's not okay, you go a bit faster or a bit slower, but make it a long-term decision. That's the thing. Because on my small mo music box with a crank, I have the same. Yeah. And I uh, usually like have a mantra in my brain and yeah. not listening to music, like uh, bread and water, bread and water, bread and water. But that sounded too rhythmical. <laughs> I'm, I'm like thinking of something completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking about a tree, thinking about a tree, thinking about a tree, thinking yeah. about a tree. Something like that. You need to do the, exactly that when yeah. you do this. Okay. Yeah. It's the same with the music boxes. Okay, so we're gonna try it for a bit. Um, I'll show you, yep. and then you can take over, and try, if you take over, to not let the wheel slow down, okay. because if the wheel goes still, the bellow, the, the air pump empties, yep. and that sounds like a cat is being smothered, okay. like you say with I the I would diets. like to hear yeah, that yeah. Okay, well that sounds like this. <laughs> That's that sound? That's, That's pretty cool. horrible. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, now we're gonna try for real. Should I go faster? No, a bit slower. A ah, slower. Tiny bit, um, tiny bit slower. Okay. Thank you. 
that's fantastic. <laughs> so try to keep your shoulder aligned with it. But, so but I was going too fast, right? A bit. Shoulder aligned. Shoulder aligned. So if you stand like this, that's okay. And if you switch to the other side, go like this. But I can't switch to the right hand here. You can, but this wheel is a bit too big for that. Okay. It's really much tighter when you play it. Yeah, you that's really a, get this feeling of swing, actually. It's experience. It's, it took me half a year to yeah. really get it down and, and be able to do it at all times. And when I've not grinded the organ for a while, for like three weeks, yeah. it takes some u getting used to it again, because every organ is different also. That's, that's also a problem. Don't feel bad about it. Okay, <laughs> can I try like a whole song? Yeah, absolutely. I'll change it up. Something nice. Okay. I like that this you can about... see the drum here. Four minutes. This is, I think it's a little strange that they don't show this on the front side of the instrument. <laughs> but this is what we want to see, I think, when we play. But on the front side, the instrument is just the front. But I don't want to show probably that there's two. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Because back in the days, people might have thought that was cheating. So, of course, <laughs> it's the only way to do it. The Drehpruken street organ was originally built in 1900 by Gavioli in Paris. It was rebuilt into its present state in 1952 by Heisbert Perlet in Amsterdam. The three figurines on the front most likely originate from a French limonaire organ. Organ figurines fell out of fashion in the 1930s and the Prüken was the first post-World War II organ to feature figurines. So after a quick lesson on how to grind an uh, organ like this, I'm gonna try to play Adios Nomino. Okay.
Is it okay? It's Are you, oh, you're all sweating. Core training. <laughs> yes. I didn't know it was core training. Wow. <laughs> was it beautiful? Was it beautiful? You did so well. Thank we are, you. We are very proud of you. Thanks yeah. for the lesson. Yeah, sure. It was so fun. <laughs> I'm really out of breath. <laughs> the strange kind of concentration also, you know. Yeah. Then you just feel it's slipping away from me, it's slipping away from me, it's slipping away from me all the time. I'm very impressed that you can play so tight on this thing. It's like meditating. If you if you think about doing it wrong too much, yeah. it doesn't work. And as soon as you start doing it wrong, you've got to think, well, I'll do it correct after this. It's so funny because this is like with CNC machine and 3D printing. People think that you don't have to do anything. Oh, it's a mechanical instrument. You don't have to do anything. Well, <laughs> you have to do everything. You have to do everything. <laughs> In the next episode, we're taking a look at another mechanical masterpiece. Thanks to our friends at Spilcock Museum, and thanks to you for watching.